Hello everyone and welcome to the vlog. I have been horrible with vlogging lately. I've been so busy. <laughs> I've been so busy because um, a couple of uh, updates. One, I am moving. So my apartment is in absolute disarray. Boxes are everywhere. Just, I've been running around and packing all week. Um, so yeah, one, I'm moving. Two, me and my fiance actually ended up getting married at a courthouse. We're still gonna have our wedding. We're still gonna do um, like bachelorette and what is it called? Bachelorette and bachelor trips. We're still gonna do everything involving like a traditional wedding, but we wanted to go ahead and get like the legal portion of the marriage done um, just because of like multiple reasons. We just figured it was a good idea to go ahead and get that done. So we're married. Um, so I'm moving up to um, the Washington DC area next Saturday. So yeah, it's just been so crazy busy. And then I'm also, um, instead of working at W2, I wanted to try something different and I've been interested in 1099 and locums work. So that's what I'm gonna do for my next job. So just getting the, um, all the like paperwork done for my locums job and getting like in touch with an, with an, an accountant because like I don't know anything about doing like the book work for taxes and all that kind of stuff. So I was like, I'm just gonna hire someone um, to make it so much easier on me and to make sure it's done correctly. So I've been getting that done. There's just been so many different pieces that I've been putting together for the last couple of months actually. Um, and now it's all just like coming together right now. So it's just been crazy busy, but that's why I haven't been vlogging lately. Um, yeah, just, just life has been happening. So tomorrow I'm actually having movers come. I rented a pod. So my apartment just looks horrible right now. Literally just like everything is just all spread out still. But everything, most most of my stuff is packed. Like most of my stuff is in boxes. It's just kind of stuff that I can't pack right now. Like I'm not gonna pack my TV. I think I might just like put that in my car because we're actually driving up to the DC area since of course I have to take my car. So next weekend we're driving like six hours one day and then four hours the next day because it's a 10 hour trip. So we're doing that next weekend. So some of, some of my stuff I'm not putting in the moving truck. I'm just worried about my TV getting messed up. I have like this painting I got from World Market. You guys have probably seen it a couple times. But that was kind of expensive and I just don't want to put it in the pod with all the stuff and stuff moving around. And then like my plants, I'm so sad about my plants, you guys. I've had this plant, both of these plants, this one and this one, if you watched my earlier vlogs, for like over a year and they've been thriving and I've been taking care of them. And I finally got a good like watering schedule with them good area to put them in so they don't get too much sunlight but still get some some sunlight and now it's done i can't take them i feel like that would just be too much to try to shuffle some plants around with the dirt and everything so i'm giving to my mom because she's an amazing plant mom she has a green thumb all her plants survive so she's gonna take them they're gonna go to a good home and then just like other things i can't pack like my pop is on i'm not taking this apart um just stuff like that so that's why it kind of looks in disarray i still have to have my bed but I'm probably gonna spend a good, look at this camera, hold on. That's a little better. I'm probably gonna spend a good three hours tonight just finalizing some packing stuff. But I would say I'm at least 85% packed, which is pretty good. The last couple of things to go. My plants are coming with me. Getting the star treatment. The movers just left, my mom's pushing me. We just finished the move and uh, now I'm at my mom's house and I never gave you guys an update on the little cat that was pooing in the closet. So she is now with my mom. My mom adopted her just because my mom wanted like some company and we've always had cats. So my mom's used to having cats. So she was like, I'll take it. So Cassie's been living here and literally Cassie's probably one of my favorite foster cats that I fostered. I fostered a total of three and I think she may be number one. I really, really like Cassie. Oh, look at her running to me. She's so sweet. Like, I'm just like, I really hope in the future I get to find another cat like her because I really, really like her. She's such a sweet girl. 
and she did eventually stop pooing the closet. She uses her litter box all the time now. And what I realized is that I didn't realize she was like a stray cat prior to me um, taking her in as a foster because a lot of the foster cats, like they're either kittens when they're born and they just like grow up in the shelter or sometimes they're bought in by someone who's surrendering the cat. Like if a relative died or they just can't afford to take care of the cat anymore, they're surrender it to the animal shelter. But I think someone just literally found Cassie um, as a young kitten and she lived in the shelter and yeah, it was just kind of a stray street cat, but she is so sweet, so lovable and one of my faves. It has been quite a long time since I did a vlog just because I've been so busy and I'm out of breath. Like the walk from my car to the building is kind of long and I had to go up a flight of stairs. So now I'm winded. But anyway, I haven't recorded a vlog in so long just because life has been really busy. So some of the things that I've done in the past, like two months, I left my job in Atlanta, moved all the way to Virginia, like in the DMV area, um, unpacked, I have a new job, I'm working locums 1099, started that job, and now it's been about a month since I've been at this job, and I just wanted to take the time to um, just not vlog because it was just so stressful already. So it's just been so busy. But now I'm starting to get in a groove of things. I've been in Virginia for about a month now. Yeah, about a month now. And I've been at this job about the same time a month. So everything's kind of getting more settled. So now I can start vlogging again. Um, but anyway, I am still at an outpatient center. I'm just doing a locums contract. So I'm gonna be here from, like I started at the beginning of September and I'll be here until the end of December. And if I haven't put it all out, if I haven't put it out already, I am going to make a video talking about why I decided to become a 1099. It was something I always wanted to do, but was kind of nervous to do it as a new grad. And now that I have about a year and a half of experience, I definitely feel more confident and didn't want to start a W-2 job and kind of be stuck there for the next couple of years since I was moving to Virginia. So I was like, since I already have to get a new job anyway, I might as well try 1099 and so far i'm liking it um it wasn't as stressful as i thought it was gonna be i was really worried that i was just gonna come here and not have any type of orientation and just like thrown to the wolves but luckily i did have a day of orientation where i learned the charting where everything was at um and just the whole like system um of the outpatient center which is really nice so by the second day um i felt like pretty good um Still not 100%, still definitely nervous to start by myself. Not necessarily the anesthesia part, but just like the charting and keeping up with everything being new. But it really wasn't bad and now I'm a month in and I feel pretty confident and pretty good and I don't have to ask a bunch of questions. The only time I have to ask questions is sometimes I still don't know where stuff is. Um, but that's not that bad. Um, but today I did some general cases. Like what did I do today? It's been a long day, kind of. Okay, so my first case oh, was like a mass excision from the back of a patient's neck. And then I did a gallbladder removal. And then the longest case was like liposuction. Just different parts of um, the patient's body was getting liposuction. So that took a while. Um, but the surgeons were good to work with. I like the team in the room. So that was really good. I've mostly, my first couple of days, I kind of did a lot of GI. Um, I guess just because they're trying to get to know me and just so I can get used to the charting system because in GI you have to chart maybe like 10 to 15 cases so then you really get the charting down which was helpful. Um, well it was kind of helpful. It was a little stressful too because like it's so fast paced so I'm like ah where is this in the chart but it wasn't bad. Um, but yeah I feel like we have so much catching up to do. Um, what else is going on? That's pretty much it. We're still wedding planning and doing things like that but everything's just coming together and last weekend was the first weekend we actually got to relax and chill at our um home that we're leasing so that was really nice like 
for the past three weeks we've been unpacking and doing stuff for the move which has been like really annoying because we haven't been able to enjoy the area so finally we're able to enjoy, enjoy the area but it is starting to get really cold like this morning it was like 46 degrees and it's october 3rd yeah it's october 3rd today and it was like 40 low 40s this morning so i was like what is going on and i didn't want to look crazy so i bought two jackets so i have like my kind of like thinner jacket like puffer jacket that i wore into the building but because i'm from the south i'm not used to cold weather like this like in georgia it would get to like low 30s most of the time so like for it to be 40s already i'm like what in the world so i definitely have a heavier jacket and then not only that i bought a long jacket that literally goes to my ankles and i'm 5'8 so it is a long jacket but it goes to my ankles because i'm like i don't want to be cold at all this winter if i can avoid it okay hey everyone i just got to work it's about 7 10 my first case starts at 8 so i'm about to walk in i like being about like 40 45 minutes early just so i can take my time set up my room and then like eat breakfast if i want to um the really nice thing about this new surgery center i'm doing locums at is that the cases start later than the surgery center i was at for a year so the other surgery center i'd worked at in atlanta it was um they usually started cases at like 6 30 6 45 so that, that means i would have to wake up around five get there about six um which is pretty early but this surgery center most of the cases start at like 7 30 or 8 um my room today starts at 8, so that was really nice. I got to wake up around 6.20, because it only takes me about 20 minutes to get ready. And then it's like a 30-minute drive um, from my house. So I really like that. It's like bright. Even though the weather has been so rainy recently, um, I think it's Hurricane Ian, like the effects of that from Florida somehow made it up to Virginia <laughs> but so that's why it's just been so rainy here but I don't really mind the rain um even last weekend was all rainy and me and my husband just kind of like chilled inside watched movies read books went grocery shopping just did things like that so I didn't mind that at all but today hopefully today's a good day I have about like 15 or 14 GI cases I'm doing from like 8 to 3 that's the scheduled time so you just kind of get into a role when you're doing GI it's just kind of like you just keep it going um and I really don't mind it that much I haven't worked with the GI doctor that I'm working with today yet so hopefully they're cool and it will be a good day it's Friday evening and me and my husband wow that's weird to say me and my husband are, have been trying to find like fun things to do and be active so we thought about getting bikes but bikes are kind of expensive like some bikes are close to a thousand dollars um so we was like okay what else can we do because it's about to get cold anyway so we're gonna try this today <laughs> some rollerblading i haven't rollerbladed in forever i used to love rollerblading when i was younger so we will see how this goes I'm trying to stay optimistic but honestly i am a little nervous but I will let you guys know how it goes. Hopefully I don't fall because I do not have knee pads, elbow pads, or a helmet. So we'll see. They came with socks, which is nice. Hopefully this provides some extra padding because the inside of these are kind of hard and were and was hurting my foot earlier. But yeah, hopefully these kind of help. But they don't feel that thick, so I don't know if they're really gonna do much. I'm like jamming my rollerblades into this book bag. I feel like I'm on like brink, you know, remember from Disney Channel? We're doing it. <laughs> We're doing it. This is already feeling not as easy as I remember it when I was like 12 <laughs> years old. <laughs> like, you actually making a video. <laughs> I, I do not feel like smooth. I used to be flying down the streets in my neighborhood. And I feel like I can't right now with this. So you guys probably won't see much after this because I need to concentrate and not break my arm. And we're done. It's about 10 o'clock on Saturday and we're gonna go to this coffee shop that's by us that we haven't been to yet. Um, just to, like read books and drink coffee and have like breakfast. We just kind of wanted a slow Saturday morning. Um, and it's a little cold, it's like 55 degrees. So it would, just, it, it would be nice just to drink coffee, read books and chill. So that's where we're headed now. Thank you. 
So we just pulled up to this cute little pumpkin patch and it doesn't only just have pumpkins, it has like house plants you can buy, they have mulch, um, they have like a little bounce thing, but it's real cute. How much is those little things? Ooh. Those are cute. Yeah, right? I don't think it really set a price. It just seemed like a little chain. Okay. Um, we can get a pumpkin. Oh, pumpkins are 75 79 cents a pound. That's not bad. No. So many plants. I love it. What is that? Big Shrek? So we just got our pumpkins. This was really cute. We got two big orange ones and then two smaller white ones. Um, but there's like a bunch of different plants and flowers. So we'll definitely have to come back in the winter and get like, um, what is it, poin poinsettias. And maybe they'll have like a Christmas tree we can buy. So I just shot a video for you guys. It's about being a 1099 CRNA and why I'm enjoying it so far. Um, I've been wanting to kind of shoot a video about becoming a 1099 CRNA, so I'm glad I just got that done. But we just got back from the pumpkin patch. We just got pumpkins that were really cute. I put them on like our front porch, porch area. Um, and they look really nice because I have like a pumpkin mat, like a welcome mat that's like shaped like a pumpkin. So everything's just coming together and it all looks really cute. But, um, yeah, the video I just shot, I talked about kind of like the pros and cons of being a 1099 CRNA. And I'm hoping once I learn more about being a 1099, because I've literally just started like working as a 1099 CRNA in September. Like I hired an accountant, which was good um, because I don't know anything about tax stuff. And I remember talking to one of the CRNAs at my old job and he was like, oh, you should just like learn how to do it yourself. I was like, yeah, I could, but like right now, especially planning a wedding, I was in the process of moving. I was just like, I can't learn how to do taxes right now. Like, it's just not a good time. So I'm paying an accountant a pretty hefty penny, like $30,000 to do my taxes next year. But I'm just like, I just, and I feel like that's around average. Like looking on different like CRNA sites and Googling, that sounds about average for an accountant to do your taxes as an independent contractor. But I just really feel like, a lot of CRNAs, including myself, look at becoming a 1099 CRNA and just see that it involves like just learning a lot and it's really intimidating, but I was like, you know what? I just need to go ahead and do it because what better time than now? I'm still fairly new in the CRNA profession. I still like am relatively young, so like I'm pretty open to being flexible and learning stuff. So I just I just said I need to keep that eager spirit of like learning new things and like being open to trying new things and being open to go to different jobs and learn different skills like i'm kind of still in that mind frame being younger and less experienced as a crna so i'm just like i need to go ahead and try 10 to 99 you know what i'm saying so that's what i'm doing but it's just like i've been listening to a lot of podcasts about being 1099 crna watching youtube videos just trying to learn as much as i can I'm about to open up a solo 401k so I can start like having retirement savings in that. Um, I'm just like trying to learn a good amount of stuff about like financing, fi financing, finances and owning like a business technically as a CRNA because I had to open like a business account up. Like there's just a lot of stuff that I've had to do you guys. It, it's a lot, but I feel like the first couple of months or even like the first year is going to be like just a lot of learning. Um, which I'm open to, but I feel like I just have to get past this year and then hopefully it's just like easier and I just feel like I know what I'm doing as far as like the 1099 aspect of being a CRNA. <laughs> but I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Yeah, I think I'm going to end it here. Um, but thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next vlog.